Hi, I'm Thomas with Believe in the Run, and this is Saucony's Freedom ISO 2. So, one of the reasons we review shoes is to hopefully provide good guidance for people out there. All our opinions aren't going to match up, but we try to do our best to give you what our preferences are so that you can make smart choices when getting a shoe. And in this case, sadly enough, we weren't thrilled with the Freedom ISO 2. So, this isn't necessarily one that I'm going to recommend, but I'll go over it anyway and give you the stats on it. It's got a new knit upper, which actually is better fitting than most of the ISO fits I've tried before. So the upper itself isn't that bad. It does have some negative points to it, but we'll go over what's nice about it first. You have an open mesh, very breathable, and knit uppers, they last a long time. So you're going to get your money's worth out of knit upper shoes. and then. You come down to the tongue inside and it's got an attached tongue that so it goes over the saddle of the shoe. I like to call it the saddle. I don't know if it's called the saddle, but I call it the saddle. Over your arch and locks your foot in well. It's a comfortable tongue. Overall, the upper from here to here is really nice. Come back to the heel counter and I just feel like it's a little too unstructured. You can kind of see, I can fold this around, flop it down. So there's not a lot to it. There's not a lot of structure here holding that ankle in. And I don't know if that would be a problem if the midsole was a little more dialed in and had some support in it. Check it out, it's Saucony's full length use of the Everrun material. If you aren't familiar with the Everrun, it is very similar to the Boost material. So you're getting as close to, say, an Adidas full length shoe with Boost as possible in this shoe. One thing that Adidas does that Saucony doesn't do they reinforce the structure of the boost because it goes everywhere. Like it, you land and the energy goes all different directions. Adidas uses a webbing over the top of this to create some form of structure on the top. And then they use a full web of rubber on the bottom to create the structure holding the, the boost material to kind of give it a direction. Now you can see that Saucony does put a full length crystal rubber outsole on this shoe. And that's gonna provide some durability, some grip, and it's going to make the shoe hold up pretty well. Big selling point for this shoe, it will hold up well between the knit upper, this full length Everrun, the Everrun does not wear out. It is one of those shoes that can test a pair that you've been running in for say, you know, a month and test it in two months and it should still have a lot of energy return left in these midsoles. And it better last a long time because the shoe costs $160. I do think you can get a lot of miles out of this shoe, but the problem for me is that with just having a slab of rubber under your foot, there's not really support for your foot. I felt like when I came down, it was an issue I had with the original Freedom. I actually land midfoot, but when my ankle comes down without having any support and this upper being a little bit on the flexible side, a little bit, a lot of it, I feel like my ankle dips below the forefoot of the shoe. Now at a four millimeter drop, that sounds crazy, but What's happening is when my foot comes down, my ankle dips down and then I go and I actually felt a little bit of tenderness in my calves after running in this shoe. Normally I won't blame the shoe. There could be a lot of things going on. I put a lot of miles in, so I'm due for a little bit of tenderness every once in a while. But the only difference was when I stopped wearing this shoe, the tenderness went away. So for me, this is a pass. I love Saucony. I love some of the stuff they did. The Kimbara this year was fantastic but there's a lot of other shoes out there now that are better shoe than this. And some of those are a lower price point. Love to hear your comments. If you love this shoe and you think I'm totally wrong, go ahead and leave it in the comments. If you agree with me and feel like maybe this shoe isn't quite there yet, leave it in the comments, but it's a pass. If you want honest reviews and you wanna hear things like this where we don't always love a shoe or tell you how great a shoe is, go ahead, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Follow us on Instagram and follow us on Facebook, our Facebook page, and you'll see what's coming up next and what we'll be reviewing and what we are thinking about running and running shoes. Talk to you soon.